Hey makers, how's it going? I hope you're having an amazing day. Have you ever been in a situation where you want to put your Arduino to sleep? For instance, to extend the battery life of the pack that's powering it, or you're just interested in how to do it. Well, you're in luck because this tutorial will be covering all of that. So hang on and I'll be right back. This tutorial is a beginner's guide to putting your Arduino to sleep. Sometimes you need to do that, especially when you have your Arduino connected to a battery pack. Uh, to prolong the life of the battery pack, you put the Arduino to sleep when it's not doing anything, when there's no tasks required. So let's jump into and see what we're going to cover in this tutorial. So we're going to first look at what materials we need. Then we're going to look at what board we're going to use. We're going to sleep, see what sleep modes are available. We're going to see what an interrupt is and how to deal with it. And we're going to look at the code. As usual, you can download the code from my blog and the link to my blog is in the description below this video. So, and then we're going to do a little exercise to show what we actually did and how it all works. So, let's jump into and see what materials we're going to need. To follow along with today's tutorial, all you're going to need is an Arduino Uno and a jumper wire. That's all. So now we know what materials we're going to use in this project and you saw that we use an Arduino Uno so why would I talk about what board to use um, or microcontroller unit MCU as we professionals like to call it um, it's very simple the Arduino Uno has a lot of flexibility and is easy to use in prototyping but it is really similar to the Arduino Pro Mini that you both use the same processor the Atmega 328P. Now the difference is that the Pro Mini has a lot less hardware mainly it doesn't really have the USB driver you need a special cable what they call an FTDI cable to upload your sketches to it. it just for instance in an wake state a Arduino Uno uses between 30 and 40 milliamps depending what brand you use and that kind of stuff whereas the Arduino Pro Mini only uses 25 milliamps so that is somewhere between 5 and 50 milliamps less that's quite a bit when you're running it off a battery then the next step is when it's asleep and this is where it's, you see the big difference so the 9 it uses 19 milliamps when it's asleep an Arduino Uno and Pro Mini only uses 0.57 milliamps so that is almost like 18 and a half milliamps less which is enormous when you're dealing with projects like this as I said the Atmega 328P is the same processor used for both the Arduino Uno and the Pro Mini if you want to there's a link in my blog uh, that you can download the specifications and somewhere in that really complex and boring document it tells you what sleep modes are available there is actually five sleep modes available and um, I have listed them here from the mo the least uh, power saving to the most power saving now in my opinion there is only a f very few times that you want to use uh, something like the power save mode um, other than all uh, the sleep mode power down which actually uh, uses the least amount of power so in my opinion and in this uh, tutorial we're going to be using the sleep mode power down uh, function uh, of this at Mega 328P. So what's an interrupt? So consider this. 
you're sitting at your desk and you're working really hard at something and you need all your concentration um, so what you do is you slap on a pair of headphones and you crank the music and you get into your zone and then somebody comes into the room and says it's dinner time or your favorite program is on TV and you don't hear them. So what they do is they walk up to you, tap you on the shoulder and you go what what and you take the headphones off and you listen to that. That's what an interrupt does. The Arduino Uno and the Pro Mini have two interrupts. They are attached to pin one, I mean pin two and pin three, the digital pins on your Arduinos. And what they do is when something happens on that pin it will stop the Arduino from doing whatever it's doing so even in sleep mode it listens to those two pins and if something happens uh, it will execute the code that's connected to that interrupt and how that works we're going to look at it when we actually look at the code so here is the code so the code you can download from my blog, if you've not done it yet, the description to the blog, I mean the link to the blog is in the description below and download the code so you can like sort of scroll with it if you want to. So the first thing we do as usual, we declare stuff. So we basically over here load the library that has all the methods and functions in there to put our Arduino to sleep and we give the pin 2 that has uh, interrupt zero attached to it a name just to make it easier in the setup function what we do is we just basically turn on the serial uh, connection so that we can print some messages to our serial port if we want to um, then what we do is we uh, say that pin 2 will be an input and if you noticed this here you might have never seen this before but basically what this does it activates the internal pull-up resistor if you want to know what pull-up resistors are um, there is a lot of information about it I'm not really going to discuss that but it saves us putting an extra 10k resistor on that board and then finally we turn the LED that connected to pin 13 high and we do that so that you know that the Arduino is awake. In the loop we have only two commands. We got delay for five seconds. So we're going to wait five seconds because otherwise it would instantly go into sleep mode. So with these five seconds you get to look at that LED that we turned on and then it, after five seconds it goes to go into sleep function. In the go to sleep function, the first thing we do is we enable uh, the sleep mode. This doesn't mean that we're going to sleep, we enable that it can be done. So sleep enabled. And here we attach the interrupt that we've been talking about um, to pin 2. And you see a zero here and it's basically pin 2 has interrupt 0 attached to it and pin 3 has interrupt 1 attached to it. This here is um, the function that is called when the interrupt is triggered and the interrupt gets triggered when the digital pin 2 is pulled low. Uh, then we set in the sleep mode. Remember there's five. We use the sleep mode power down, the most effective one. We turn the LED off so that you know that the Arduino is going to go to sleep. We put this in here just because otherwise the Arduino doesn't even have the time to turn off that LED. So give it a second to turn off the LED and then we say sleep CPU and that is actually what puts your Arduino to sleep so now it sits here so when the interrupt is triggered this is the first code that it will run so first it will run it will print something to the serial monitor it will disable the sleep mode with sleep disable and it will detach the interrupt from pin 2 the reason why we do that is that sometimes 
you can get into a loop because the int uh, the interrupts aren't always that clean. It has to do is what hardware actually calls the interrupt. So if the hardware that calls the interrupt um, isn't like really clean and go like boom on and off, um, you have a chance that you get a loop. By detaching the interrupt, you don't have an issue with that. After the interrupt has been called, we print just woke up, we turn the LED back on, and we go back to the main loop where we actually run through the whole thing again. You got the five seconds wait, you go back into the sleep mode, we turn off the LED, we go to sleep, we trigger the interrupt, and so on and so on. Uh, let's go and do a little exercise. So the first thing we do before we start the exercise is actually we download the sketch from our uh, from from my blog and then upload it into your Arduino and then when that's done we 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 uh, we go to the exercise to set up our experiment our exercise what we're going to do is really simple we're going to take this jumper wire here this one here and we're going to stick it into port digital port 2 so 0 1 2 boom done now that's the port that interrupt 0 is located at now, now when we put power to it what we see is that the LED comes on and we wait 5 seconds and the LED goes off so now to wake up the Arduino all we need to do is basically pull this uh, pin to low and you do that just by going to ground and then the LED comes on again remove it from ground wait five seconds and the LED goes off you can turn it back on and so on and so on there you go that is how you wake up an Arduino after completing the tutorial and doing the exercises you will have a good understanding on how to put your Arduino to sleep and wake it up again. If you want to know a little bit more, need a little bit of help, check back in 14 days time and I will post some projects that will use sensors and RTCs, real time clocks, to wake up an Arduino and they will be designed in such a way that you can use the source code of these projects and the ideas to integrate into your next project where you're going to need to put your Arduino to sleep. But in the meanwhile, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out the little box so you receive notifications when I post my next video. Or go to the link below to my Facebook page, like and follow me, and you also get notifications. Or Go to my blog, link is below in the description, and download the source code for this tutorial. And also scroll to the bottom and subscribe to my newsletter. This way you also will receive notifications uh, when I post new uh, tutorials and projects. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it for you. Hope to see you very soon and bye for now.